I'm Jack Ford, and welcome to American Ed TV, found conveniently right here on Verizon Fios On Demand. American Ed TV, first and only place where you can find all the important stories focusing on the world of education. We bring you the issues and personalities in an entertaining and informative way that helps you understand just how vital it is to see what is really going on in the education industry. Each month, we offer you a selection of the top college lists from the experts at the Princeton Review. American Ed TV, because now more than ever, education matters. Patel Industries is a proud sponsor of American Ed TV. from St. Petersburg. I am a student. I participated in a CIE work and travel program last summer. I'm Katya, Katya Rufzawa, and I took CIE work and travel program in summer 2006 and 2004. And I was working as a waitress in a seafood restaurant called Lobster Trap in North Connor, New Hampshire. Uh, I was working at uh, Minamsha Fish Market on Martha's Vineyard Island. It's my best favorite place in the world. It's with me everywhere, here, you can see it. We're doing like almost everything, just like being hostess at the same time and a bartender and a waitresses. And I really was enjoying that because people were so nice. They were truly interested in like, from like where I was and like why I speak English and like what I'm doing in North Cone, New Hampshire. Yeah, it, it helped me to improve my English. Uh, it was very, very bad before. And the first day at my of my work in uh, Minamsha Fish Market, I was like, uh, Hello, <laughs> hello. I don't know anything in English, and um, the owner of this place uh, gave me a position of cashier. So in about two weeks, I got a very fluent English skills. I know every every kind of fish, shrimps, scallops, uh, lobsters. My friends. <laughs> it's not a very good thing, but I killed about thousand lobsters last summer. <laughs> After that, I became part vegetarian. <laughs> It was my first time when I moved somewhere like far away and I was just by myself, like paying my rent, getting my food, you know, just like doing everything by myself. And I think uh, like it really helped me to just to be a responsible person, I guess. A couple of years later, I moved to Petersburg and so now I'm here just by myself, but I have already this experience, so I'm fine. I'm doing just fine here. Okay, I was very shy person, like I used to like to sit at home doing nothing and one day I decided to take part in this program and I, I never, never regret. It was the uh, best days in my life. Participation in that work control program really helped me to become now who I am. I think I changed myself. Я Аня. Я Катя. И это были наши истории. You're watching American Ed TV on Verizon Fios On Demand. We're back with our buddy Rob Franek. Senior Vice President, Publisher of the Princeton Review, and, and Rob's got some more, some more lists for us. We love our lists here. So we talked before about some, some of the great places and the great food in different colleges. We talked about professors, the, the great professors in different colleges. Let's talk about one that I, that I think in, in many ways could be the paramount list here, and that is where the happiest students are. You know, at, at, at both of my children now have gone through college, one through medical school. And, and I remember traveling around and doing the college hunt. Right. 
um, one of the most important things I would say to my kids would be, where do you think you'd be happiest? Just close your eyes and see yourself, and where where are you smiling? Because if you're happy, you're going to do better. Uh, you know, in in any in anything in your life, right? So uh, my first question is, how do you gauge in terms of your lists here? What what was your criteria for determining? Happiest students. We reached out to 122,000 current college students. The hard part was to reach out to a big cohort of, yeah. uh, of kids from these 377 different schools. On average, 350 students per school that's uh, that are in the book were answering questions on academic experience, quality of life, social life. But then we asked them, how happy are you? How happy are you with your academic experience, with your social experience, with the campus culture that we were talking about before? You know, are the residents all as comfortable? Is the food good? Everything that's going to add to your quality of life as a student has value, right? It might not be an academic value per se, but as you say, it is absolutely connected with your overall experience. All right, so th this is not the biggest party schools. Right. <laughs> when you're, when you're talking about happy, you're not talking about happy party, but you're talking about happy, part of it is that, your social life, ha yeah. happy in your academic life, happy in all, in all the extracurriculars you're involved in. All right. Okay, so with that as our metric, yes. let, let's work our way again from number five to number one. What's, what's, what's number five on the list? Number five this year is Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. I mean, I, again, all of these schools are such amazing places, spread to places academically. But again, these students are ridiculously happy about, about their overall experience. So number five is, uh, is, is Vanderbilt. Number four, Clemson University. Okay. Now, Clemson is a terrific school, and we get so many students here. I think we had a little over 4,000 students from Clemson. So the average is 350, but at Clemson, we had over 4,000 kids. I, I got to tell you, survey. Clemson, yeah. I, I've had the opportunity to be down there. I, oh, yeah. I, I, I did a lecture down there, and I managed to combine it with a great football game. Oh, yeah. Right? Clemson football fans, uh, Death Valley in Clemson, South Carolina. Oh, they, yeah. You know what's interesting? They start parking. Uh, people show up with their with their vans, their traveling vans, like on Monday or Tuesday before a Saturday oh, game. I didn't realize that. Yeah, so you have everybody is happy at Clemson. <laughs> the students are happy at Clemson. The folks that are coming for the, and they're actually winning some football games. Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're having a good run right now. So I can see why Clemson is a happy place. Totally how, hear you. How about number hear. three? What's number three? Number three this year is University of California Santa Barbara. Um, also on our best value colleges list and the Green Guide. I mean, from sustainability, but overall very happy students. You, you, when you, when you, yeah. There's so many. University of California yeah. dash schools, mm -hmm. right? Um, Santa Barbara is, 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 if you think, you think about UCLA, you think about Cal Berkeley, yep. um, how does Santa Barbara fit in to those? Santa Barbara is a pretty big school. Um, it has, it focuses focuses on on programs in the sciences it's it's superlative in its in its science programs and disciplines uh, therein uh, but again thinking about that overall quality of life uh, for for students it is one of those still those flagship right. universities where we might think of UCLA and Berkeley but I would put Santa Barbara and Santa Cruz right up there at the top as well good to know how about what's next on your list number uh, two is again usual suspect Bowdoin College number one on our best campus food dome number two on happiest students uh, and this year number one one on our happiest students list. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> Again, usual suspect Rice University in Houston, Texas. Okay. Fabulous school academically, and no joke academically when we start to think about the uh, rigor of, of course curricula at uh, at Rice. But these students have a great quality of life, and they've been a usual suspect on the they're, list. They're, these are all good schools. I'm mm -hmm. not trying to diminish any sure. of them. But Rice, as you said, is known as a, a, a very rigid, uh, high-end academic program. Not a big school. Right. Um, interestingly, it, it's 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 sort of on the smaller side. Oh, absolutely. Um, but is it was it surprising to you? To see a, a school that is known as such a strong academic institution yep. to also be the number one in terms of the happiest students. It, it has it's surprising to me because it has such a such rigor in the in in the classroom. But it is not surprising in thinking about how students talk about trumpet out as you were saying before their experience. They talk about their um, accessibility to faculty members. That their faculties bring material that they teach in class to life. That they're accessible outside the classroom. And then overall quality of life for many of those other lists residence halls, food, career services, health services, things like that, that are going to add to your overall experience as a student. But Rice has been a favor on many of those lists. The Princeton Review and American Ed TV, the college experts. Thank you for watching American Ed TV on Verizon Fios On Demand. To learn more, go to AmericanEdTV.com.